Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now this is going to be an update video regarding test taking strategies. I'm going to be introducing a couple new topics and I'm going to be responding to questions that I've written down here that are put out by the viewers. So this is true content driven stuff. So it's what we all wanted and it's finally here now and I wrote down everyone's questions and we try to address them the best I can. All right, the first one I got here is, all right, so one viewer says, you know, they're taking a test and people like coming in the room or leaving or just the noise, someone are making an eraser or whatever, that bugs them and they, they, they kind of lose focus. Um, it happens, that, that actually used to happen to me and I, got, I used to get annoyed by that. So what I started doing was I used to sit in one of the four corners of the classroom. That's most likely the spot where you're going to be able to like look away if something's bugging you. You know, if you're like in the back right, you, if, if there's noise over there, it's localized to just one side. So it's not all around you. It's localized to one side of you and you can look away and kind of put yourself in a different spot if that's bugging you. Don't sit next to the door. That's going to drive you nuts. You know, if, 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 if you're being bugged by noise, don't sit next to the door, obviously. Don't sit next to a window. Sit in a corner where there's not a lot of people and you can just kind of be in your own zone. Another thing, what I did was I realized I was getting disturbed a lot. And so what I did was I physically, like, here's some paper. I would just physically get close to my paper and, um, and just try to focus really you know, on every question and think about it so not to be disturbed by the fact that I'm taking a test. I didn't want to be psyched out by that. And it really just forces you kind of be in this little area zone. So it's kind of goofy. It's a little weird, I know, but it worked. So, you know, and, and over time, you'll get better, actually, and you don't, you don't have to do that anymore. So just give it a try. That's the best we can do, and you know the last thing you want to do is be disturbed because it actually bugs you throughout the test. So try some of those techniques and let me know how they work. All right, okay, so this is another one here. So most tests, like in science, um, they're either going to be essay questions or they're going to be multiple choice. Just I don't know why it's kind of how I've always seen things, and a lot of times when like a professor gives you a test. I've seen a lot of people just like start and go. Now this, what I'm going to say here is going to respond to a lot of questions. So kind of look out for them. I'll try to highlight them as I go along. The first one is not having enough time. You know, you're going through a test and you're like, oh no, there's like two essay questions in the back worth a ton of points and I never got to them. You know, running, so that's running out of time. We'll talk about that. Second, not getting all the points you can. Um, there'll be people saying, you know what, if I just had more time on those easy questions, I could have knocked them out and got done well and tried my best on the hard questions in the time remaining. Time management. So what you need to do is the professor gives you a test. Instead of just starting on question one and going, don't do that. Take a few seconds. Flip through the whole thing. Get a feel for what is in this test. How many pages of you know test material do I have? How many multiple choice questions? How many essay questions, if any at all? Any true, false, any matching, whatever. Get a feel for what you have ahead of you. If you have like four or five essay questions, boy, you better go fast and make it there or do those first and knock them out. Those are not going to be worth small points. And, you know, if you have a ton of multiple choice, you need to tell yourself, okay, how much time do I have and how many questions do I have? That will really determine how fast you need to go. So what I used to do to kind of get myself to go fast because if you're in a test and you realize you have 120 questions and you have two hours to take the test, that's one minute per question. That's not a lot of time, especially if it's a hard one, you got to think about it. Um, so what I used to do is, okay, so if you're in the test and that comes up and you're just like, I can't go that fast, it's really difficult to modify your technique during the exam. So when you're studying, if you know you have this issue, get a timer. Um, it can be like on a watch like this where you have a timer. I used to actually have one of those like, kitchen cooking timers that were spring loaded and I just used one of those and what I did was when I was taking like practice tests or just self testing myself I would time myself per question or like per 10 questions to get myself used to kind of being a bit tense and going fast um, I know that, that might sound a little weird like you're forcing yourself to be fast yeah it works out well because it gets you in the mood of thinking fast writing those answers and going um, because that's often what you need to do on an exam so if you're reaching that point, okay, so you know, the test, you got to feel for it, it's a lot. If you see time is crunched, 
you know, you just start going fast. You practiced it while you were studying, this is where it's really going to pay off. So that's what you need to do. The other benefit you get while getting a feel for the test is that you know what's coming up. I think like maybe it's unconscious or something, but you automatically know how you're doing in a test if you know what's ahead of you. You know, you're taking the test and you realize, okay, like half the testing time is gone. You can automatically tell, do I need to speed up or am I okay? Because you know what's coming up ahead of you, so it's not going to be any surprise. And, you know, if you're running low on time, you know how to speed yourself up. So that's the beauty of it. You're never going to be caught by surprises. You are in control of the test and you can manipulate it as you like. Now, someone made a comment here regarding um, answering all the easy questions first. I don't know how to do that, I'm sorry. But if I think I know what they mean is they go through all of them and if they don't know it, they just like put a mark and go to the next question. If that's what that means, genius idea. Um, you know, because the whole point of that is Get all the points you can quickly. And if it's a question that's really going to be challenging, don't waste time sitting there and thinking about it. Come back to it later if you, when you have extra time on the exam. Or if you're running out of time, you can guess those really hard ones. Because you probably weren't going to get it right, or you would have had to put a lot of time into it to get it right, meaning you would have lost all those other questions you could have answered in that time. So answering all the easy questions first, what I think that means, and I think this is a good idea, going through the test after you've got a feel for it, just going through if it's really hard you don't know, put a little check and come back to it later when you're done with the test and you're reviewing it again. Good idea, get all the easy points, don't waste your time on the hard ones, they're going to require a lot of time investment. Okay, so if someone said, you know, I finished tests like really fast, well congratulations, you know, good job. Um, but what they said is they left the room when they were done. No! Why would you do that? Unless you're scoring 100 on every exam, leave as soon as you like. Um, but most, okay, but if you're not, um, what you need to do is that extra time you have, as you're going through the test, you can mark off, you know, this is kind of a hard one. Uh, I don't know what that one, that's a hard one. Um, and you can go through it. If you're finishing early because you're just going too fast and being careless, slow yourself down. And you can figure that out by getting the test back and looking at the answers and asking yourself why you didn't get them right. And you can figure out, oh, am I being careless and going too fast or whatever. So if you are, slow yourself down. But with respect to finishing early and going at a good pace and you're not making careless errors, the benefit you have of, because you're like a fast test taker is you're going to finish early. So take the test again. There's no, you know, there's no, there's no big benefit to leaving an exam early. I, th I know like some people get like anxiety and they just want to like get out of the testing area, just leave and just be done with it. But really imagine, or think about this, that you really put a lot of time into studying for this test and you have like an hour or so to make, you know, to prove or to show your performance on an exam. Leaving like, you know, 15 minutes early and trying to get out and get out of there, Suffer through the 15 minutes and go through the exam again. You're going to be happy you did. Because you can go through and now take time on the ones that were hard and really think about them and try to get them right. What more could you ask for? You have the benefit of being a fast test taker. Take advantage of it and go through the hard ones and try to get them right to increase your score. It's a little bit of extra time. I know you don't want to sit there, but just do it. It's really going to pay off. And that's, that's a good question. I like that one. Oh, okay, anxiety things. When you're taking an exam, don't sit there and think, oh man, I already got like six wrong. This is downhill from here. Don't even think about that. Once you've gone through a question and it was hard, put a little check mark. And then, you know, the beauty is, you've, you've already told yourself, I don't need to think about this question. You know, I've, I put a check mark, I can come back to it later, all is good. So that's the thing. You don't want to sit there and be thinking about all the questions that you probably got wrong because it's going to like wear you down and you don't want to kind of mess up your focus during an exam. So just put a little check mark and get it out of your mind because you have it marked down on paper. You can worry about it while you're reviewing the test and then you can think about it. Don't let it bog you down. You finish a question, you are done with it. Check mark it for, you know, coming back to or not. Don't worry about it. Go on to the next one. Coming to an exam early, like that's always good. Come anywhere from five to ten minutes early for an exam. You don't want to be rushing and like late to an exam and be there and all, you're all losing focus. Come early, it's gonna be good. But what you don't want to do 
is when you come to an exam early, you'll notice that there's a lot of people sitting around each other, quizzing each other. Worst thing ever. God, you want to mess yourself up? Go quiz yourself before an exam. I mean, it's like the worst thing you can do because if someone asks you a question and you don't know or they're answering it differently, that really messes with you. It's kind of self-quizzing before exams, worst thing ever. Self-quiz, you know, when you're studying, that, that's efficient, but not before an exam. You want to be in your zone, in your comfort space, you know, confident that you're going to do your exam to the best you can. And whatever happens, happens. Don't let other people get into your, like, your concentration zone and mess with you. You don't, that would be horrible. So don't do that quizzing before exams. I see it all the time everywhere, even during like really important serious exams. Um, I don't know why people are doing it. Just stay focused, be in your zone. You know, we talked about, imagine you always being like this with your test, you know. Be in your zone, do your thing. Okay, this is the last quick point I'm going to make. You know, I'm really trying to make these videos short, but given the stuff we're covering here, they get to be a little bit long. This is just logistics of exams. Um, lifestyle up to the exam date. And what this means is, don't change your like diets and your exercise habits and everything right before an exam. Live your life like you always did. If you drink coffee and soda and you know eat junk food and do whatever, do it. Don't start going. Don't don't get all super healthy right before an exam. Do it after the exam. Keep yourself the way you are. So when you go into exam day, you're not like feeling like sugar withdrawal or tired or whatever. You want to be in your normal zone, whatever that may be for you. Don't even worry about it. Um, so nothing drastic before an exam. And don't pull an all-nighter, man. If you have to, you have to. I hear you there. Sometimes you just got to do it. But if you can, don't do it. Because if you follow the, uh, in the previous video, here's a link, we talked about the condensed notes thing and reviewing it a lot. If you make your condensed notes and review it a lot, you will not need to do an all-night kind of session of late-night cramming or pulling an all-nighter because you will have, before the exam, reviewed the content and you're like in good shape, you get a good night's sleep. So if you can do that, the benefit you have of not staying up late, and that and even if like you um you study and you're good to go before an exam and you have like some relaxation time, go to bed early. I know it's like why would you want to go to bed I know it's not fun. But just go to bed early because when you wake up the next day even though you may not feel it when you wake up, like all refreshed, like everyone says, but nonetheless, you will you will have better test performance because you will be refreshed, even though you may not feel you know refreshed. Um, so get a good night's sleep, go to bed early, put away the TV, all, all that other stuff. Just do that one night; it's really going to pay off the next day. And pulling it all nighter, don't have to do it if you don't have to. Go to bed, but if you have to at times, I hear you. Don't feel guilty. Do what you got to do and learn that material. That, uh, that, that brings an end to this video. I'm trying to make them shorter again. Again, put out the questions. This was a completely um, viewer-driven video. Let me know how you like it in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe. Share it with your friends if you want. And I uh, hope this was instructive to you guys. And uh, keep enjoying your studies.